Which you guys, the other day I made a video on how to wipe your hard drive with C Cleaner, and I got quite a few messages asking me how would you destroy your drive beyond recovery. Now this could mean two things, I you want to destroy the drive so you can then throw it away. Maybe the drive is dead, but you could still got the platters and stuff in there which they can get the information off. And this is important that you destroy your drives um, properly to stop people from uh, getting sensitive data off there. So if you're going to throw an old computer out, remember before you throw that computer out, there is an hard drive in there with all your data on it and just formatting it just won't get rid of it. So we're going to be talking about completely destroying the drive beyond recovery. And this is what this video is going to be about. So this is a method that you could use, which is a bit extreme, but you could use it. OK, uh, and it will stop people from getting data back from that hard drive. So first off, we're going to use a piece of software. And now there is many different types of software. This one's called Erase. It's an open source piece of software that you can run, which will run uh, a scan on the drive and remove all the data off that drive. OK, now I wouldn't stop right there and just leave it just in case there's a way of still uh, pulling data off that drive. It's probably not possible, but just in case there is a chance, I would destroy the drive afterwards. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. So once you've got this um, downloaded, it's an ISO file. Now there is tons of other different types like DBAN and uh, CSL and stuff like that. There's loads of different types of software and I will list those on my website and you can see a big array of different types of software you can use to wipe your drive. So let's boot up to this and then we're going to take a look at how we, how we can go about uh, removing all the information from the drive. It's going to start loading up a race. Okay, so this is the actual interface that we've got. Very, very simple interface. Now, it doesn't allow you to select which which drive you want to do. Okay, so bear that in mind. If you've got loads of different drives, you may want to just take out the drives you want to keep safe and just keep the drive that you're going to wipe plugged in. Okay, just to be sure, because once you start this process, it will obliterate everything on that drive. Now also another thing to take uh, in, into account is the amount of time it's going to take. It will take a long time, okay? So you've got this one here. We can overwrite that and it's not going to give you um, many uh, options here. It's just going to overwrite that drive uh, with uh, DOD, which is free overwrites, I think it is, which it uses for this program. Now that's normally pretty ample really and it will take some time. As you can see, this is only a 26, 26 gig uh, partition on virtual box but you can see it's gonna take roughly around about an hour probably take around about 40 minutes so you can see how long this can take if you've got a massive drive now once you've done this process you let this process finish and you go to bed and leave it running overnight when you come back I'll show you the next step after this bit so what we're gonna do here is gonna hit this with an ammo just to show you how hard this hard drive casing is okay now what you've got to remember is I'm giving this a good clout with an hammer and uh, I wouldn't advise you to do this method because the platters will still be intact as you'll see now you might be able to get away with damaging the 2.5 inch drives it will just completely shatter those but these ones you'll see in a second I'll remove these screws and you'll see that the platters are still intact and I, this has had some hefty blows now you're going to need to remove these screws. Now these screws are like little star, tiny star screws, which are, I think they're called torque screws. I'm not sure, uh, or torque, torque screwdrivers. Uh, but you can uh, put a comment in the section below if you know what they are. But just remove these screws, and they're easy enough to get hold of these screwdrivers. Now once you remove these, you'll see the platters are still intact. Now if you're doing this as a business, as a PC repair business, you're going to need to make sure that you are damaging these if if you've promised the customer, i.e. the businessman, who you've took his drive away, you're going to destroy it properly. And this is not destroying it properly, as you can see here. This casing is very, very thick indeed. And you can see there's some hefty blows on here. And uh, it's not really damaged them platters at all. It's just give them a little couple of dents on there. Now, someone could remove these platters and still probably get the data off of these. Now, if this is sensitive data from a a company you want to make sure you damage these now you're going to see the platters here there's two of them in here and you want to destroy both of these okay and the one underneath is still intact 
so all that data would still be uh, there. I suggest using this method, it's a straightforward method, just drill straight through the platters, very easy to do. Or you can use a, take the platters out and use some pin snips, because this is aluminium platters as you can see here. And that makes sure that the platters are destroyed and there's no way of going to get them back. You can see here, I've drove, drilled right away through this casing. Now again, uh, you can either remove these platters if you wish and do it that way. That's the way I prefer to do it, remove the platters and then I'll use tin snips or drill through. So you can see a big clear hole here. Now you can also miss out the, um, the software method and just go straight into the drill method if you wish. And this is the platters on their own. So I hope this one helps you out guys. So that's basically how you can destroy your hard drive data forever. No one will be able to get that data back, okay? Now obviously this is an extreme case and if you was going to be throwing out an old computer, that's what I would do. You can either skip the first process and just go straight into the destruction mode by drilling or whatever way you want to do it, okay? But you can get some uh, tin snip cutters and that will actually cut the uh, the actual discs as well. You can un unscrew all that and then cut them into bits okay depending on which way you want to do it okay do it which way you want to do it but that's how you can destroy your hard drive so no one can ever get your data back off that drive and maybe clone your identity or get your uh, precious photos that you may have on there okay anyway so i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Now if you've got any problems with your computers you can always head over to the forum and post on the forums and come part of the community over there and there's some good guys over there that help out and help you fix your issues that you may be having with your computer okay. So anyway thanks again for your continued support and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.